It's mm-hmm. for the, the rest of his cousins and brothers and everybody. And in fact, at the time I met Z in 2011, he'd been fighting for almost 10 years alongside Army mm-hmm. Special Forces. They literally landed in his backyard in October 2001 said, hey, we're going to go get some bad guys if you want to go with us. Pick up your packs and go. And Z and four of his brothers did just that. One was killed through the course of, of the fighting. Another, including him, made it out, and two remained behind to take care of, of their family. But this family, this clan, are all part of the Yusuf Sai tribe, uh, and they're, they're widely known. And they were being hunted, you know, even then, uh, in country, by Taliban, Gulbuddin, and the other extremist groups who were seeking to keep Afghanistan unsettled. And his dream always was come to the United States, come to the United States. I had to talk him down off that ledge several times because at that time there really wasn't a a path for it. Um, And more to the point, he had more than one wife, which I knew wouldn't be recognized here. And that just caused a lot of problems. And I didn't want to tell him no because, you know, that was his big dream. Uh, Real quick, did he grow up pro-West? Oh, yeah. Okay, so it wasn't like he had a change in his own ideology as he got older. Oh, no, not at all. Okay. No, his, his father and all his uncles fought the Russians away with, okay. you know, so they were, they were part of that group that repelled them. Okay. Uh, and can, can you explain, because you, you addressed it a little bit, but can you explain Afghan, just like when I was in Pakistan, I mean, it's tribal and, and it's an area of, you know, depending on where you live, that's your, that's your group. And can you explain a little bit more about that? Yeah, it is. It's very tribal, and they're Sunni and Shia. Um, So these guys are are Sunni, and most of the the eastern parts of Afghanistan are Sunni, and the Shia over to the west toward Iran. So the three main ethnic groups are the Hazara, the the Tajiks, and the the, um, Pashtun. Okay. And the Pashtun were the, the primary ones who were involved with the Taliban, the Shia and some other groups that they were associated with. Uh, that's not to say there were no Tajik bad guys, but but none of these guys, of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. And no, they didn't. I, I, to be sure, there are some who had a change of heart. Uh, either they really had a change of heart or they just thought they would change to the team that decided to be winning at the time. Yeah. I don't know. But right. no, these these guys are have been on our side the whole time. Okay. Uh so, again, very good, you know, good workers, good, honest people, just kind of salt of the earth. You know, they were, they were farmers and, and other agrarian-type activities before the war, and then they beat their plowshares into swords, and now we're trying to, now that they're here, trying to get them to do the opposite. 